Oh, we oh. meet again. Long time no see, baby. Oh. Daddy Finn. I love that this has been charging. It's at seven percent. Hi. Hello, mother. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, long time no see. We are here. PC, you ready to go in here and see some uh, coral, some fish? The fish I are gonna jump out of the tank. Like, how you doing? How you been? M4, man. Yeah, you guys, this M4. Let me give you guys a look at. Ah. Uh, uh, look at the body. I love the chrome on it, dude. No, Brand, you need to hop out of that in the blue. Blue on blue. Yeah, look at blue zesty. I actually fit this oh, oh my gosh. Gang. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, I'll call in. Come on in. Well, this is your first time here, right? Uh huh. Let's get it, Daddy. Well, come in. Ooh, the good old classic. Nice hat. Appreciate it. Hey. Hello, man. How you doing? Up, Good to yeah. see you. We got Colston and Jed already. Yeah, we got a lot to look at today. I don't know really what we're filming here, but you guys all know we get ourselves into some trouble when we walk into these two doors over at Top Shelf Aquatics. You came on a crazy day. You bought like how many fish this week? It was 50 boxes. 50 boxes of fish just came in last night. It's probably um, over, I want to say $60,000 worth of fish. $60,000 of fish. Um, Jed and Colston actually picked up late last night. We were um, here. Till midnight. Midnight. Honestly. Get in this store ready for us to come in and take a look at everything that they brought in. So far, I've looked at three tanks and it's amazing. It's the most I, land. I want that so bad. Look at the Antheus right there. If this video gets one like, and one he's going to be buying all, all the fish in the, the store. Antheus. Yeah. <laughs> all the inverts. So you guys already know, one of the most craziest invert sections that I've ever seen. I mean, it is just inverts on inverts. Fish on fish at this point today. Look at all the little chromies. That is awesome. Wow. Oh yeah, so look at this Emperor Angel fish. He is transitioning from his baby colors into his adult colors. I know the LED lights make my whole thing look crazy. You guys can't see the true colors. So this is one fish that we're really, really excited to come and see today. This is a purple tile fish. You have some blue headed tile fish over here. Look at the little beautiful yellow tangs. I mean, you guys, there is so many fish to look at today. Look at these. I don't know what kind of anthes those are, but they are they're surely beautiful. So the last time we were in here, this was just being set up, and this is now completed, and holy smokes, you guys, this escape is, that's one of a kind. And that is one of a kind. You got all a whole bunch of Ghanis. And then up here, you got all air plants. Big old mangrove going on the top. That is just, that's fascinating right there, you guys. Look at escape. Are you busy? Nice that's escape. insane, bro. You should do this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do it. We shouldn't do it, bro. No more projects, all right? <laughs> Look at how big that powder blue is. That's one of the biggest. I think he like. Look at him! Holy oh, smokes! You got a big old naso in there, and then you got what kind of puffer is this, Colson? That's a dog face puffer. A dog face puffer. He's got that dog in him, or what? That's actually a fanatic puffer. Oh, that's a fanatic puffer because he's got that dog in him. <laughs> Look at the tiny little baby dories, the blue hippo tangs. Absolutely adorable when they're tiny like that. These are the yellow-tailed damselfish. These are kind of similar to the chromies in a way, but much brighter. Look at these aquacultured yellow tangs. Absolutely beautiful. It's kind of cool how when they're young, they kind of don't have all that yellow. So yeah, actually, the real Hawaiian ones, which we have in our system, I saw like the really Hawaii, bright yellow. They stay yellow like that, but when they're, I guess, when they're aquaculture, they're not fed the certain Maybe, things. Maybe yeah, it's probably a diet. We thing. start feeding them seaweed, and they'll get that yellow right back. You can see the one in our uh, display over here. Super yellow. He was a Catholic red one, and now he's really yellow. He's coming around the front. Oh there. wow! Yeah, look at him. You probably can't see it as well on the camera. But, but you can. You guys can definitely tell. All right, cool. This tank is, oh man. Is it cherry bomb right here? Uh, it looks like it. Wow, it's beautiful. A lot of acros. You guys all know me and my acros. It, you guys didn't have none of these acros in here, but I don't know how. Teach me your ways. How the hell are you guys getting them to grow that fast? I didn't do any of this. this my fractures are still the same size as the way I bought them, dude, like a year ago. <laughs> that chalice is really cool. We put cool. them in big, big pieces so it grows fast. Golden. Symbol of artists. Symbol of artists. Hold on. 
You got this. Yeah. Oh That's my a majestic goodness. angelfish. That is the baller. Of the of the that is so I got, sick. I got both of those. And yeah, then you got both of these. Yeah, I got one of those. One of those. I want it to be yellow. Yeah, no, it's that's yellow. really nice. Oh, sorry about and, that. Buffett. And then I got this. Gosh, dude. What else? <laughs> Beautiful. No, it's you got nice the nice speckles. Wow. So someone bought it for me. Yeah, shout out to Jack you know, and Lauren. One day that's gonna happen to me too. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Jack and Lauren. Check that out. Wow, Jack and Lauren, you guys beautiful. are dog face puffer. Look at how beautiful he is. I love all his little specks. He's got the orange mouth kind of. So we're taking him home too. Beautiful. Fish. Um, I, dude, if if you want, you could find something that would fit my reef palm with Jen. Oh, uh, really? If you want, I mean, I always love a nice free fish. Reef palm. Reef palm. Okay. All right, you guys heard that. We've got one quest in today's videos. We are going to be trying to find a reef fish that is going to fit in perfectly in Mr. PC's reef pond. So now we are just walking up and down these aisles here, looking at all the reef fish, because like I said, that is today's job, is we are going to be finding a very nice reef fish for Mr. Paul Caffaro's pond. Now, if you guys all remember in the past, I bought him the square back Antheus quite a long time ago when he had his reef fish in the predatory pond. So if you guys are all familiar with that, when we were moving the fish, we never ended up finding those two square back Antheus. So unfortunately that means they probably did end up passing away and uh, probably got cleaned up by a cleanup crew or something like that. They are not easy to find full grown like these ones here and like the ones that I bought him in the past, but today they do have a beautiful, beautiful pair a squareback Antheus. That is a beautiful, beautiful male, and it's female. So, you guys, we were definitely gonna keep that into consideration. And here's another one. And uh, this one is just converting into a male. So these guys do start off as females, or you know, they could be a female and turn into a male. So that is what that one is actually doing right there. You guys can see he's not fully pink, but he does have that big old square coming in. And then that is another female in the back. A lot of really, really cool stuff. A huge selection today. I can't get over that majestic angel fish. I mean, that is a quite the color pop, you guys. So Jed actually just mentioned that maybe the squarebacks might not be a great idea, but we don't know yet. We're going to think about it, see have, if we have any have other options. Ideas. I have some ideas. He does have some ideas. So we're going to take a look at the farm. I'll give you guys a nice look at that. And then when we, uh, when we get back, we'll, uh, we'll decide on what fish we're going to be grabbing today for Mr. PC's Reef Pond. I mean, this place already has everything you need to start your own little aquarium at home. You get all the live rock in here. Some really nice pieces as well. Some cool ledges. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. It's a rock. You guys have all seen plenty of times on my channel. Take a look at these mushrooms, everybody. Holy smokes. The tank that I love the most. You got these big old acro colonies. Nice paycheck for everybody. He needs to find a real boxer. Look at these salt water mollies down here. Look at how impressive that is. So these fish could actually be fresh water or salt water. You guys all know I'm in love with my Acroporas. You got a whole lot of them to look at over here. Look at that. Incredible stuff over here at Top Shelf, always. I mean, take a look at that. Look at how that one is growing. It looks like a checkerboard. Like a skeletal structure, but it's you can see it, it's like a bunch of ramen noodles basically, right? It's just a bunch of noodles. And this is the TSA baby grail. So this is one that we've grown out for about seven, eight years now at this point. In airport security? Yeah, pretty much TSA top shelf aquatics. <laughs> oh, got it airport now. security. <laughs> Super yeah, are you serious? Very, very similar. <laughs> Basically the same thing. And then so you'll get them to grow out and they'll grow these heads and so you can see they split up now, right? Yeah. So it's two separate sections. We were, they were originally one whole colony and Kevin's cut it in half. And then the way we do it is we cut it down to singular heads and then we sell the heads. But you can kind of see now, if, if you look this, at... Let me put this in front of it. Just... Alright everybody, so I'm here with Jed. Now okay. this... Jed actually just told me he's going to give me a gift. This gift is something that we've been talking about for a long time now, Every bro. day for probably the last year. Fair enough. Probably since we met each other. But, but giving it so he doesn't hear about it. He probably is. Just, he's just, just, probably just giving it to me. Came. He's like, I, I don't want to hear it anymore. Um, but anyways, I think Jed is actually going to be gifting us with a little frag of Fruity Splice. Now, if you guys are all familiar with that, it is a grafted Acropora. It is a Fruity Pebbles, right? It's just a Fruity Pebbles yep. that grafted itself. Yep. 
Um, it's, it's really interesting how it works is most of the time these grafting, you know, instances come from bacteria, which then causes, you know, a frag of it to start turning green or a different color and it just continues to grow that way. Really, really cool. So as this grows, it's going to be purple and green, like little hints of red in it. Really, really cool. I'll Two different colors. The, the yeah, I'll pop, I'll pop a photo of the colony right here. Really, really beautiful coral, and I honestly can't believe we're about to own a frag of it. I really just came. I was so tired of being All right, bro. Come on, dude. Give me, give me a break. Give me a break. How do you get man. this up? Dude, I don't this know. coral costs like $1,200, you know, right? Yeah. Just that frag? Yeah. No shot. No, I swear, bro. This is a no. I swear. Bro, Gio, you better kiss him. No, we already talked about what he owes me. No teeth. <laughs> Gosh, dude. Brenton, you hear that? I'm sure you want to be involved. I can subject, I can participate. Yes. I can do that, yeah. Another frag. What is what that? What is that? Oh, uh, that's actually a That's a hair. yellow wide body hair cap. Look like a school bus. You got a really beautiful ribbon eel. And a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Look at the tiny little snowflake eel, you guys. Look at that. That is really, really cool to see. I've never even seen it that small. You got some really pretty little orange snails. I can never get over this invert section. It is quite literally one of the most insane things that I've personally seen. All the different selection. Just the little tanks are so cool to look at these fish in. Like look at these little red dragonettes. Look at that thing. It's not focusing because this light sucks with my camera, but it works, you guys. So this is, look at this. Ooh, look at that guy. This guy's sick. That is a citron goby. Oh, look at these little pipefish. Super tiny, cool little pipefish. Hello, this is Paul at Top Shelf Aquatics. How may I help you? You don't, um, you're not subscribed? Gotcha. Have a good one. <laughs> Come up here, buddy. Go get him, Papa. You're coming home with daddy. Oh, oh dude, blow. he's so cute and chubby. Look at him. Aww. Oh. Wait, his name is McGregor? McGregor. McGregor. Oh. Yeah. McGregor. You Shit. know why? Because he's got the dog face in him. Dog in he's him. He's got that dog in him. Dog. McGregory. McGregory. Yeah. McGregory. So considering that Top Shelf blessed me with a piece of fruity spice today, I don't think we're going to be grabbing the purple yeah. tile fish. I know it's such a cool fish, but... I, I can't do that. They already gave me such a nice gift. I don't need to, to get anything else, honestly, today. I am definitely going to be picking out, Paul, a beautiful fish here. And uh, I think we've got our eyes on one of these little sponge hogfish. Take a look at the colors on that beautiful, beautiful fish. It's a very nice yellow and purple. Unfortunately, you can't really get a good look at it under these lights. But um, if we are going to bag this one up when we get home, I will give you guys a beautiful, nice, long look. So you guys can see the true colors of that fish, and then it'll be going right into the reef pond. You got the little Picasso triggerfish, one of my all-time favorites. Look at this guy. Whoa! Chill out, buddy. You got a beautiful pair of black storms. You got a wild caught yellow tang. True Hawaiian yellow tang right there, guys. A lot of money. $9.99 for one of those little tags. Over here you got a little baby sailfin. You got a little flamingi. And you got a really nice pair of designer clownfish. They have a whole lot of stuff. If you guys are in the Orlando area, make sure you guys come and check out Top Shelf Aquatics. They have got it all from coral to fish and Subscribe. cute employees. Oh. You guys all see that little black tang right there? Can I tell them how much that black tang is? Three dollars. No. Three hundred dollars? No. Thirteen hundred. Three thousand no. dollars. Three thousand shebangers, dude. Shebang. You're crazy. That's <laughs> PC. Quick question for you, then. Yeah. So you do know? <laughs> All right. Settle down. Uh, <laughs> Imagine that was like that the whole video. I'm just. Yeah, dude. What's up? What do you What do you need? <laughs> Anyways. I think I was looking at something, of course, to get you for your reef pond. Do you all okay. know this is the plan? Yeah. Um, what do you think about this Spanish hogfish? He's a uh, yellow and purple. How do you think he'll fit in with the rest of the crew over in the reef pond? I was looking for the color yellow. Really? And I don't have enough purple. You do wish so. you had a, a, a confused orange shoulder tang? Yes. Yeah. I do. I would love a confused orange shoulder tang when they're small, they're yellow. Some are brown. I want a confused one that's yellow. He actually learned this today. Yes. Didn't know that. Now I do. Um, would love that Spanish. Look at that guy. So now it's either between that one or this hogfish. This is the Cuban hogfish. So this one is red and yellow. No, Spanish. Spanish, yep. right? I do love my Cubans. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Where are you from? Cuba. Cuba. You know? 
but I am pretty familiar with that. Okay. Uh, oh, but whoa! whoa. Oh, Wait dude. a second. Whoa! Bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm chill, just kidding. Dude. My mom is Cuban. Right here is the Spanish hognose fish. Um. Okay. Um. He comes from uh, a place back in. Hey, Brenton. Where'd the Spanish hoggy nose fish? Ah, the last fish I found, the horn shark. Island, right? No, no, it was from Austria. Austria. South Austria. This one is from, what's right here? This guy, this guy right there. Guam. He's from Guam. He's from Guam? Well, I visited Guam. No yeah, way. From I've been Guam. to Guam. Should we see yeah. how far off you are? No, no, he's from Guam. You need to check. Yeah, I'm spot on. Oh, That's I a see. Spanish hog nose, 45, 5th, 6th, 7th. South Asia, Guam. I didn't know fish were named with numbers, by the way. But some, yes. are, some are barcode related. Yeah, all right, guys. So this is the definition. This is triple brain rot. Uh, triple brain rot. Yep. Guam. Spanish hogfish, though, for real. Isn't that a sick fish? That is, dude. Is it very say, say something in Spanish to him. Que lo que papi. Get a little panther He's so grouper. Cute. He's so cool, dude. Tu necesitas más agua. Ooh. Uh, is water necessary? No, do you need more water? Oh. Real quick, which go, one is go, it? Go, go, uh, go. Somewhere in there. All right. What's he at right now, Ardu? Uh, he, I mean, he's doing pretty good. Eight yeah, seconds. Eight seconds. Oh, two of them in eight oh, seconds. Eight. So we figured that we are definitely going to be going with this beautiful hog or Paul's Pond. I think it's going to fit perfect right in there with all the other tanks. What do you think, Colson? Yeah, probably dude, a good he's pick, pretty right? sick, yeah. He's a good pick. And these guys get a, like quite large, They right? get pretty big, yeah. Okay. It's a hog fish. So, I mean, we have a bigger hog down here. Where is he? Right there. Technically, this is a tusk grass, but oh, it's okay. a type of hog fish as well. Guys, dude, it almost looked like a grouper for a second. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> We call, him a, we call him a banana tusk. He is really, really cool. Okay, so we're definitely going to be grabbing. Be yeah, we're going to be grabbing the purple and yellow version of this guy. You already know PC's got quite the uh, the bundle right here. Filling up. No, oh, no net, huh? Okay, Colson. I prefer not look to at use that. the net because I don't really see these. Look at that beautiful, Dude, look at beautiful fish. Once we get into white light in the fish building, in the back, you guys are gonna see the look real look that. nice That's purples. Cool. It's still kind of hard to see with like the LEDs. Oh, no, it's great. Very, very beautiful fish. You don't cool. see purple like too often. In, yeah, yeah, you don't really see it. I mean, that's why I love those purple towels. Really cool. And the yellow purple <laughs> contrast is pretty yeah, nice. It is really, really nice. These are cool too. Whatever Antheus those are, little Bartlets. Oh, well, how many likes do we need on the video to get those purple tiles? If we get 4,000, 5,000 likes, I'll come back here and we will get a little group of these purple tile fish. Because uh, these things kind of stole okay. my heart today. Yeah, 4,000 likes, you'll get one. 5,000, you'll get two. two. Okay. 6,000, you'll get three. Oh, oh, oh. 7,000, you'll do four. <laughs> we got all those pearl towel fish just chilling up in there. I'll drop a nice picture of what those look like. I'm giving this guy some oxygen. We'll, give him a, uh, we'll do a double bag just in case because he's got a little bit of gnarly teeth on him. He might pop Oh, back. okay. Gnarly teeth. We're gonna get that guy all bagged up and then we got a nice two and a half, about two hour ride all the way back to Jupiter Farms, Florida to be bringing this beautiful fish over to PC's house. Like I was saying, when we do start that big old saltwater pond, you guys already know we're gonna have a lot of content to film over here at Top Shelf, picking out those baby predatory fish because I think that's what I'm gonna do is start off with everything as a baby and watch them grow up to be these huge predatory fish. So we've got some really, really fun future ideas coming soon. I'm sure Colson will be here to help us with that as well. But uh, definitely really excited to start that saltwater pond. Okay, well that will wrap it up over here in Orlando for the day. We are it's just- It's a little loud out here. It's a little loud, it's a little loud. We are getting ready to leave Top Shelf Aquatics. Now, uh, you guys want to mention that whole deal I heard Paul talking about? All right, so this weekend, I don't know when this video is coming out. So... It'll be, so I just posted today, it'll probably be this week. Okay, so this weekend is pre-Black Friday. So mm. all those fish and everything you see, that's all gonna be pre-bagged, mega sales, fish, coral, inverts, all 25% off. Wow. And that's not even the best deal of the year. So the following weekend, which is an actual you Black Friday. You missed the pre-Black Friday. Yes. You got the Black Friday you got sale. regular Black Friday. And uh, if you guys yeah. weren't familiar with last year's Black Friday sale, it was quite, it was so, really insane, right? Regular Black Friday, there will be a line out our front door that wraps around around. the entire building. We have people that camp out here from 11 o'clock at night the prior night. I had a guy drive from Georgia no and spend the night way. in his car. Last year we had companies telling us that they were threatening to tow people's cars because there's yeah. that many cars out here. But I will tell so you this, it's going to get pretty hectic here. Yeah. The first 10 people in line will get something special. Wow. So I'm not going to tell you what time. We open usually about 8 a.m. But we'll first 10 then. people in line. All right, so I'll be here like 6, 6.30. Me and Jen still well. not even be first. Yeah. All right, well, there you guys have it. If you guys are looking for an amazing sale, Black Friday, you guys got it right here at Top Shelf Aquatics. And is that online too? The online's gonna be doing some Online and in person. Well. Yep. Fire. Well, 
you guys, that is it. Always better than and uh, exactly, I'll catch you guys over in Jupiter Farms at Paul Cafaro's house, getting ready to acclimate his brand new fish we got for him. Appreciate you guys. Always, always a blast. As you can see, we have made it to the fish building. We are here at Mr. PC's house, and uh, we are getting ready to introduce this beautiful, beautiful hogfish into its brand new home. Now, uh, I know these are kind of similar to a wrasse, or they are in the wrasse family. Whatever it is, very beautiful fish. All the wrasse are super beautiful, and a lot of the hogfish that we have around here and all over the world are very, very beautiful. How Don't get doing? on me. How you, How you doing? How you doing? I just, I, I was just telling Paul in the car on the way here. I was like, dude, I gotta stop saying beautiful so much. And look, right before I, he walked listen, in, I just said it twice, bro. I used to say, uh, I used to say sick. Sick. <laughs> I used to say sick, dude. This is sick. sick That's dude, sick. This is sick, bro. Everyone used to comment. Dude, all you do is say sick, bro. You're sick, bro. <laughs> Anyways, we are just standing in front of the reef pond right here. And uh, we're going to get ready to, well, we're going to let Paul release his two beautiful fish. I've never done a GoPro shots in here. Exactly. It's probably be cool. All right, so PC just got his amazing fish in the reef pond. And then he also got an amazing dog face puffer put in here. Look at him. He's just chilling. Absolutely adorable. Gotta love those puffer fish. Now it is time for him to do the honors and float our beautiful, beautiful hogfish. Nice bright yellow with like a calm purple. If that's how I could explain it, he's kind of got a calm purple. Float, acclimate this guy for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, come on in. And I will catch you guys shortly. Spanish mama. Yes, sir. Ah. So it has been about 15 minutes and this, uh, Beautiful Cuban hogfish. That's not the Cuban, it's Spanish. Oh, this is the uh, Spanish hogfish, not the Cuban. Anyways, we are getting ready to get this beautiful, beautiful fish inside of this beautiful, beautiful reef pond. L listen how many times you just said beautiful, bro. Yeah. I just caught myself doing yeah. that, dude. Dude, you say beautiful too much, bro. Anyways, I will let you do the honors here. All right. Um, can I just grab it in my hand? Yeah, wow. might as well because we can get a nice. Oh! See you later, that little guy. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Where'd he go? Oh, oh yeah, dude, nice. Look. Wow, he fits nice. in Old perfectly. Spanish hogfish. Okay, all right, big guys. Leave him alone. Cut, cut, him cut him a break. Cut him a break. Come on. You already know he's in there. How you doing? How you been? That is amazing. Here he is. He's been in here for about. An hour, we walked inside, hung out for a little bit, and look at him, dude. Life of the party. This little fish is out and about. He is hanging up right up front. And I mean, look at the colors on that. Ah, it's crazy. He's, look at him up front, bro. It's so he's, sick. He's vibing. That right there is a life of the party. Now, we're, we're going to need some names. The Espanol hogfish. Considering he's out in the front, well, he's probably going to be a I think I'm going to name him Espanol. 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 Dude, that's fire. But Espanol. you guys let me know. Comment down below. Appreciate it, Gio. Of course, brother. I what appreciate a day, you dude. always bringing me along, what time man. Is, bro, it's nine o'clock. We woke up at six a.m. It's nine o one. Nine o one. I don't know how to tell it, what that is, but it it's nine o one. Nine o one, bro. <laughs> My goodness. <sighs> well, like he just said, what a long day here. We went over to Orlando, about two and a half hours from our house, and I mean. You had a successful day, you got some really cool fish. Cool I got stuff. some corals, I got a dream coral of mine. You guys all saw the uh, fruity splice we got. We got to pick out Paul, a very beautiful fish for his reef pond. Nice I would rats. consider that, dude. Successful day, right? Indeed. Well, you guys, with that being said, we're gonna wrap it up right here in the fish building and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out. Peace out.